engineering mathematics, special functions. At the end of this subtopics, you should be able to solve Bessel differential equation of order zero. Hello everyone. Hello, welcome back to MT315 class. So last time we considered special functions and I uh, explained three different differential equations to you. If you remember, I mentioned Bessel differential equation and at the same time, I introduced you to the gender differential equation. And the last part of it happens to be hypergeometric differential equation. I mentioned clearly that each of them will actually give us a special function. And then I ask you guys to go and take a look at this assignment number one. That is on page 11. As you can see there, uh, I said you should go and do this gamma function and show me. And another assignment I gave you, I said you should take a look at the second case when k equals to minus n um talking about the solution oh. hello sir good and they find your h to h6 and substitute you actually obtain this second uh solution so submit that one so let's proceed so today we are going to consider bezos function of zero to order so don't forget the last uh, expression I showed you. I said that one is actually the set order of nth order. That is why you can see the coefficient of y there to be 1 minus n squared over x squared. So look at the question on the board now. That is question 1. You will see now that in this case, n is actually 0. So we call this one the z function, the z differential equation of 0 to order. So let's proceed with the solution. So like before, you can see now that this one has a singularity point and the singularity point is what we can remove because by the time x is zero, you will notice that this one will give us, uh, this one will be indefinite. So based on those two foundations that it has a singular point and is a removable singular point, then it means that we can proceed with Frobenius method of solution. So let's assume that solution, which is why it goes to summation from zero to infinity here, xk plus zero. Don't forget what Dr. Bodaudio explained to you, that the only difference between this one is the introduction of k here. And that k is what we actually find when we set our r equals to zero. So differentiate the first time, k plus r will come down here. Then you have ar k plus r minus one. Differentiate the second time again. You have k plus r multiplied by k plus r minus one. As you can see, here, don't forget the power minus two. So let's substitute everything back to e question one. So you have this here. You have the second one. Remember, one over x will change to x is power what? minus one. So you obtain this expression and if you look at this one very well you now see that this and this they have the same power so let's group the power that is why you can see here now x k plus r minus two then the summation of everything so the second term which is this one you have it done here so we call this one our equation three so now just like i've introduced to you in the class we need to start by when r equals to zero when r equals to one but most times, by the time we find when r equals to zero, we get our initial equation, we solve that one. It's only for us to keep on going over again. Then we need just the recurrence formula, then we proceed. So our focus will be on this equation three. But do you notice something that, uh, if you go back there, you see now that from this term, this one is one over x, that is x is power minus one. So by the time you take that minus one to multiply this one, you see that this one will give me minus two. So that is why the power of this one and this one, they are the same. So take note of that. So from this equation three now, let's start with when r equals to zero. When r equals to zero, you have zero here, zero here. That will give us k. And this one will give us k minus one. And this one will give us k. Then we have a naught. Then we have x k minus two. Then for this one too, we have a naught x raised to the power k equals to zero. Now look at this very well now. Let's take a look at the coefficient. You see that this one is k minus two. This one is k. Then which one is the lowest power of x? This is the lowest power. So what do we do now? We take the coefficient equals to zero. So this one will give us expand this one again, k times k k squared, then minus k then plus k equals to zero. So from the minus k we take care of k. Then you have k squared is equal to zero. So what is the answer here? We see that our k is zero. Let's call this one equation four. But perhaps let's try and consider when r equals to one. See what we obtain. So we go back to equation three again. When r is equal to one, this one will give us k plus one, k plus one minus one, k plus one. Then a1 and this one to a1. What about the power here? That will give us k minus 1, then k uh, plus 1. Definitely, you are doing that. This one will give us the lowest coefficient, lowest power of x. 
That is what we have as equation one. Now let's set the coefficient to be zero. That's why we now see from here the coefficient is equal to what zero, then multiply by a one. So looking at this very well, uh, for this case a one is not zero. Remember, even when we are solving a and one. other, a one two, we said that uh, is zero. But in this case now, we set the coefficient a equals what zero. But the only thing we can notice from here is that if you look at the power from here, k minus one, k plus one, and this one k minus two k. You will notice that the only thing there is that it's changing. So let's take the power, which is k plus r minus 2, k plus r. So I put dot here because this one, this term here will give us the lowest coefficient. So from here, you see that r dot equals what r plus 2. That's our equation 5. So let's take it back to equation 3. Remember what I explained to you. You substitute in the summation. You substitute in each of them. In the second one too, you substitute in the summation. You will not substitute here. I think you remember. So, if that is the case, if you return it back, what you obtain is this expression. So, let's factorize. Then, by the time you factor, you see that AR plus 2, then AR. So, if this one will come here, then we have this. So, this is our recurrence formula now for a zero differential equation of zero to other. So, we only have a case here. That is when K is equal to what? Zero. So, when K is zero, so we put it down here. We change this one to zero, so we now have r plus 3 to power 2, the minus a. So let's focus on this. And when r is zero, we have this. When r is one, we obtain this. Don't forget that a one is zero. Then when r is two, we obtain this. When r is three, we obtain then you return everything back to our zoom series solution. So from this, we obtain this. So we have this. So if you remember the assignment I gave, the second assignment, by the time you use you assume that n naught is 1 over 2 raised to power n, the gamma of n plus 1. Then with that, we'll be able to convert everything here to this function, which is j naught of 0, which is the z function of 0 to order. So before we end this class, let's take a look at this assignment now. But you will notice something that I said. By the time you obtain your indicial equation, it has to do with k. But there are three things attached to this. Remember, Dr. Dadu mentioned to you, when you have a characteristic equation, or perhaps you call it auxiliary, and the root of that particular equation, it has a lot of things to say about the solution of the differential equation. The same thing applicable here too. This, in this equation here, the nature of k will tell us so many things. So now, let's consider this now. Let's take a look at this exercise. I said you should use the method of Fubino to obtain the solution of the following second order linear differential equations. Look at the first one. 2x squared, you can see clearly that this one is actually Bezel equation and if you look at the second one too look at the third one but the, there's one thing here i said remark 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 that is actually your uh, upon your lecture note that's page 16. now look at it note that the indicia equation which is like a quadratic equation plays a major role for instance if you take a look at this one everybody you of course you have to solve this equation by the time you solve it you assume y summation zero to infinity a r x k plus r. By the time you differentiate the first, second time, you return everything back. You get the first term. When r is 1, when r is 0, what you get is k1 is 1, k2 is 1 over 2. Now, they are distinct and they are different is not an integer. What do I mean by that? 1 minus half will give you half, which is not 1. Keep that fact. Now, let's take a look at the second one here, b and c. k1 is not equal to k2 and their difference is an integer. In this case here, by the time you do the same thing for this, you will notice that your k1 is half and your k2 is minus 1, minus half. The difference of this one is 1. Take a look at c2, this one. Assume the solution, return everything back, set when r equals 0 to obtain your indicia equation. What you have is k1 is 1 and k2 is what is 2. The difference is what is 1. Now, for this case, we are going to have two different solutions. But for the next one, which is for, the, uh, for this case here now, we have one solution for this. And for this case, k1 is equal to what? k2. So, the third assignment I'll give you now is this. Just like we've done for zero to order, go and attempt a, b, c. So, uh, if you had submit the first assignment on Friday, I would advise you to submit this one on Tuesday. Tuesday, please submit the assignment on Tuesday. So, let's call it a day here. So, next class, which I will release to you very soon. We are going to consider a legendary differential equation, but don't forget, it's just the same procedure. But the only thing now is that the coefficient will change. And now,
we share tutorial questions and answers it is all about understanding facts and sharing with others learning continues we are learning to know understand and share with others please, please subscribe, subscribe to, to our channel, channel if you like our, our videos, videos.